so early, huh? Oh man. What is this? What am I doing? Real human hours. Plans tonight are, like I said, I'm going to a, a concert <clears throat> in Brooklyn. And uh, I'm going to be a little vague about it because, <laughs> because I don't want people mobbing me. <laughs> it happens. It kind of doesn't happen, but I like to pretend it does. I'm going to need some liquid. It's time to hydrate. For those that weren't here yesterday, I played Smash 4. Uh, excuse me, Smash 5. Or as I like to call it, Smash 4.75. I played Smash Ultimate at Nintendo New York, and, uh, it was good. But, you know, obviously very, very familiar. Um... Wow. That's about as bred as Kraft Singles are cheese. Loaded with them preservatives to survive a nuclear fallout. After Vault 76 opens up. I had a dream I was playing Fallout 76 last night, guys. And, um, it was good. But Cicero was in the dream. Like, he ran across the wasteland from Skyrim to find me. I think Todd injected the dream into me with some, like, subliminal E3 waves. And, um... He did it. He sold me on it. Through the dream. No, the crafting system has been upgraded. <clears throat> but there was this weird thing where the enemies started transforming into Todd faces and Cicero helped me destroy them. That might be a weird decision on the part of Dream Bethesda. <laughs> Good voice. Tiny squib, you approach fearless. Are you a hunter like me? Do you feel the urge inside to stalk, to kill, to understand? Then take up my journal. It will aid you. At first, the text may seem difficult to discern, but a learned hunter will come to understand its words. the depths of this land to stand slow its beasts. Prove yourself worthy to bear the mark of the hunter. Oh, thank God that's over. Oh, you want to know the most painful voice that I do? It's that one. Scoot, no problem. Anything else? Loud voices, no problem. That one is the one that hurts. <clears throat> as long as I don't do it, for too long. Like, that was enough. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm not in any pain whatsoever. But if I do that, like, another, like, two or three minutes, I'm done. So, defeat enemies and add new entries to the journal. Okay. Okay. Well, not pop music. It's pretty far from what pop music is. It's actually way more than that. But, I mean, like, some of the, the vocal hooks are a little bit on the pop side. But I mean, you know, any music that has a hook could be considered pop. Oh shit. I think if anything, my Bloodborne stream proves that with enough persistence you can overcome challenges. Some challenges are probably a little harder to overcome than others! Jesus! But, yeah, there was some- there was some real liquid rage happening during the stream last night. Me and fuck face! Even though I almost defeated Lady Maria with dumb luck. Which is another nickname of mine. Ha ha ha. 
just going to avoid them. They do too much damage. Oh, Bakura Finedo. Hello there, dearie. I was about to close up shop and run till you came along. I provide a banking service if you're interested. God damn it. Losing one's Geo, Geo it's called, is a terrible thing, and it's so much more likely if you carry it about on yourself. My vault is much more secure. All my time as a banker, I've never lost a single Geo. Maybe you'd consider opening account. Can't do that now. Oh, hang on. You don't have enough Geo to buy an account, sadly. Once you've collected 100 Geo, come straight back and we'll get your account open. She starts investing it in, like, weird... Like, underseas, you know, foreign stocks that fail. And it's gone. Goa. Isn't this something? I'd not expect... I'd not expected to discover so huge a stag station after that foggy descent. The bugs of Hollow Nest must have been an impressive lot, building such grand structures so far into these wilds. Seems the dangerous creatures about haven't yet made their way in here. It's the perfect place for a quick rest. Def deflate! Why are you on so early? I have a concert I'm going to later. Um, I already kind of love this game. What the f- It's amazing! It's a little mushroom fella. And he makes like almost Waluigi noises. sense of well-being. A danger- a truly dangerous foe is one that does not care about their own safety. That didn't actually do anything, did it? Man, trying to steal a moment out of, like, a, a boss fight or a mini boss fight or whatever to heal in this game is a fucking nerve-wracking experience all its own. It's not like Bloodborne, where you, you have, like, a little minimal lag and then you inject the blood. Like, you gotta wait, you gotta be patient, and you gotta hope you don't get yourself tossed. Octoling expansion proves... That mechanically, you can do a lot of cool shit with Splatoon. <sighs> Aha! The tiny steps of a tiny creature. You got the look of an adventurer. And we have so much in common. Searching for dangerous places, I. Well, you're on the right track. A long-necked critter warned me of a tribe deeper down, warrior sorts. So, she says she's- I'm itching. She's- so she says, and I'm itching for some serious combat. Okay. Why aren't you currently... ...eating... a eh, pant. You read the one message out of ten that were polite. Or ten were polite, one was kind of shitty. Well... It's the luck of the draw. It's Russian roulette whenever I look at chat. I might get misinformation. I might get rude, I might get jape, or I might get something really nice that makes me feel good about myself for at least 30 seconds afterwards. Fuck! Not that I need validation from strangers, I swear. God damn it. Oh, it's you again. Ho, 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 ho. 
Oh man. Yes. Ah, my short friend, you've caught me at a perfect time. I'm just about to finish charting these noxious caverns. Very territorial types make their homes within this area. I'd suggest avoiding them where possible. Further below, some strange thin creatures gave me quite a scare. They seemed an intelligent bunch. In my youth, I'd have braved their caves, but I fear my matured physique wouldn't be able to outrun them where they were to turn violent. Were they to turn violent? Dad bug. Okay, let's see. Somehow I've managed to avoid, like, every fucking bench. Just like Raiden managed to avoid drowning. I'm happy that Snake lives on in Smash, at least a little bit. Sure, it would be nice to get another, like, legit Kojima Metal Gear game, but, I mean, he's done everything. He doesn't really like to repeat himself very much. And, uh, obviously he's not a part of Konami anymore. Um, I have a feeling they're gonna milk the franchise and put someone else in charge at some point. And, uh, just pachinko that shit up. But... Uh, you know, at least, at least we have, um, uh, you know, at least one snake appearance that in the future that, you know, has David Hayter. And he'll live on through competitive, you know, games of Smash where people complain about his nerfed ass. You've opened several stag stations now, haven't you? I'm thankful for the opportunity to once more travel through the kingdom. As I visit more places, I feel my memories returning to me, like the stagways of my mind are running once more. Continue to open the stations, and you'll have my deepest gratitude. This gladdens me. The Queen Station has opened once more. This place was a bustling hub of travel, well placed for travelers visiting the outer edges of the land. You're quite the explorer to find this place. Ah. There we go. You'll be much more confident out there in the big dangerous world knowing it's safe with me. Yep. You're a smart one. Next time some dreadful beastie gets the best of you, you'll be, you'll be glad to know your Geo is safe with my, uh, Sh within my shell, uh, my vault. Now let's do some banking. Okay, well, now I can save up. Goodbye then, stay safe. I don't want to hear about her being dry, please. Oh, sweet God. There was, like, at one point, I don't think it- I don't know what segment it was, maybe during- during Smash. Someone said something looked moist. And another person was like, oh, don't say that. And the thing is, like, it's too late, you've already injected the idea of moist into my brain. And as soon as you say don't say that, you make it worse. Because then you're- you know that person's thinking exactly what everyone else is thinking. Reggie goes back to home base. He just fucking explodes on them. Did you say what I thought you said? What's gross about the word moist? Um... I don't know. Maybe just the way it sounds? And, like, the implication? In my personal ex experience, there was this dude in a Led Zeppelin tribute band. Well, it wasn't totally tribute. 
There is okay. This dude was the singer, and he and uh, I was at this concert, and he was clearly coked out of his mind, and he thought he was like hot shit. You know, this was a guy whose ego had gotten the best of him. He thought he was Robert Plant. But they were doing, like, Black Sabbath. They were doing a lot of, um, what I'll lovingly refer to as dad rock, because it's some of my favorite music of all time. And he was good! I'll be honest with you, it's hard to do a Robert Plant... ...thing, unless you're Greta Van Fleet. In which case, apparently you can just do it. Which is nuts. Um, but yeah, no, this guy, you know, maybe in his 50s. And, and weird-looking guy kind of had an almost, like, semi-mullet. Like, he had, um... Like... What, what was the hair? Like a Kurt Russell thing from the 80s. But not in a way that was good. Wanderer seeking death, welcome. May you find a swift... May you find swift end upon our claws. Oh. It's encouraging. Anyway, the point is, the guy was, um, was saying a lot of weird shit. He was being kind of weird, and, and, uh, he was like, You know what the word of the day is today? Moist. Eh? Eh? And all, like, the, the women in the audience were like, Ugh. And that was not good. And he kept going the whole night. Uh, it says here, I heard some really bad shit about Greta Van Fleet canceling shows at the last minute at smaller venues, saying they were sick or injured, and then proceeding to play shows at other venues on the same date. Yeah, it's not good. If their manager is giving them bad advice, like, play the bigger venue instead. Don't do the small ones, you're better than that. You're Led Zeppelin. You're the Led Zeppelin. Loop zoop. Moist. You know, and they're just... Like, riding this wave of insane fame and, um, money and, like, I guess, since they're kids, they're not doing drugs. Like, you know, not yet. What are they doing? Tootsie Rolls. They're not that young. <laughs> they're not that young. Hey, speaking of talking about four or five different things at once... Let the music be good. Focus on the music. And, uh, you know, if you're talented at acting or music or whatever, let the work speak for itself. I was listening to an interview with David Harbour recently, guy who plays, um, Hopper on Stranger Things. He's open about his depression. He's open about being bipolar. Um, talks about his failures, his successes. And he seemed like a nice guy. And I, I really like him. What was that? Let's see. Bears the likeness of an eccentric bug known as the Dash Master. The Dash Master. The bearer will be able to dash more often as well as dash downwards. Perfect for those who want to move around as quickly as possible. Interesting. If there's ever a sale for Doom on Switch and it's like 20 bucks, then yeah. But, um, again, you're getting an inferior version with the benefit of it being portable and gyro aiming, which, you know, hit or miss for most people. Wait for a sale, if there ever is one. Didn't you play Doom on Switch when it came out? No, I played on the PC. I streamed the PC version, and then when the Switch version came out, Todd was, was kind enough to, for some unknown reason, drop a copy of it in my mailbox. Otherwise, I wouldn't have... I probably would not have... In, investigated it at all. I don't know what it is, Bethesda keeps inviting me to their shit. They keep, like, sending me codes. And I relentlessly shit on their games. So... I said that Quake was dead. Quake Champions. I was like, it's dying, it's almost dead. And they, you know, got in touch again. And they were like, hey, we would like for you to, uh... Get, you know, we're gonna put you in touch with our community manager, like our outreach manager. I'm like, what the fuck? Todd, if you're watching, reach out. I wanna, I wanna talk to you about some stuff. I had a dream about Fallout 76, and um, I, there, I have a couple of suggestions. I didn't like some of the stuff that I played in my dream, and I think I can help you make it better. So, again, if you're watching, Todd, just um, hit me up. All right. 
you're probably the only relatively popular streamer who did both Doom and Skyrim on Switch. There's a chance that someone at Beth noticed. But they sent them to me. So that was their plan all along. Uh, my... My, um... Oh, nice. Wall jump. Yeah, my plan wasn't to stream Skyrim as much as I did, as, as we've talked about. It just was so funny and glitchy and kind of interesting to explore and... It, it became a regular stream by accident. And it became probably one of my best streams. And even, I think even the people at, this is the thing that, that makes me laugh, even the people at Bethesda acknowledge and make fun and joke about the glitches in Skyrim. Like, in one of the documentaries I was mentioning about Bethesda, they, they were laughing, like, about their favorite Skyrim bugs. It's like, you sons of bitches. Fix your shit. They can do it. They have the money, they have the manpower, they could do it. And I hope that they will do it. Apparently Fallout 76 is going to be heavily worked on. And, um, they're going to continue listening to feedback and pushing updates based on things that are not working. And, um... I mean, that's, that's a good first step, even if it is expected for an online game. Or whatever, to whatever extent you want to call it, an online game. What do you think could go wrong with Fallout 76? I think... It could suffer from the oversimplification of Fallout 4, but I think I worry more about... Because there are no, like, NPCs, how immersive is it going to be? Like, is there going to be, like, a... Is the story going to, like, work? You know, how are they going to do that? Lack of content? I don't think it's going to be lack of content. It, the game looks pretty big. Is it really Fallout anymore is a good question. I'm not a Fallout purist. I'm a good game purist. If it's good, you know, great. The game's not fun, why bother? But... I'm, I'm more than willing to look at Fallout 76 as its own game, and to enjoy it as such. But I, I you know, I wonder about griefing, I wonder about, um... Is there gonna be... Like, when you're done doing stuff, is there gonna be... Like, is that gonna be enough? Or are you gonna just never come back to the game ever again? Oh, cool, thanks. Okay. I'm a little worried about the card system they're doing for perks. Again, we're going very, very, very simple. And while it could work for an online game... What if, you know... Again, what if I do want to just quest alone? What, what if I... And I have to be online? I don't, I don't like that. I was hoping maybe you could just play it offline by yourself and explore. But since there's always going to be players... You know... Yeah, so I have some concerns. I'm a little more accepting now because I watched that documentary, and I'm a little bit more interested in... ...something new. But, uh... I think a number of things could go wrong, sure. Oh, please, don't leave me behind. You forgot about me? I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh, who are you? Your face, you're so, so... I'm sorry, I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I... you came here to rescue me. Bretta, the girl that everyone just ignores? Sorry, when I look at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... I'm sorry, I mean, thank you. I mean, I'd better go back to town, I mean. I'd better get home. Thank you. I can't help it. I don't know why. I, it's is it scoot or meat? Probably meat, but I can't. I can't help it. I 
I'm gonna try to help it so that when I die in a video game, I don't make a stupid, like, duck noise or a meat noise or... Whatever. So we'll get a little bit of backtracking, but I think it'll be worth it. What are you doing up here, friend? Hello again. I suppose you've already met with the tribe of this village, hmm? Ah, they seem a little distrustful of strangers, to put it lightly. They're not brutes, though, no. The sickness in the air that clouds the mind of lesser beasts. They resist it. They retain their intellect and honor, though also their lethal traditions. I have some words of advice, my friend. If you plan to challenge the lords of this tribe, your blunted nail may prove inadequate. There's a city nearby, the old capital of Hallownest. I've heard a nailsmith resides there. Seek the old bug out, and you may find progress that much easier. For anyone who's curious, this is what it looks like. Oh, I see. It's, uh... Okay. It's a PNG, so you can read the letters. That's no problem, then. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you my favorites. But... There's definitely some really good ones. And, um... Oh, fuck, man. This is a hard choice. God damn. I guess you could probably just do it with Twitch clips more than anything, but if anyone- listen. If no one's down for this, then it- that's no problem, it just doesn't happen. I'm cool with that too. But if anyone wants to make a couple bucks, uh, send me an email, I will get one person involved in this. What about your previous E3? Nah, I'm good. Just this one. I didn't ask Southbird, but Southbird, he's a busy dude. He's got a job. I figured this would be like a bonus video. You know what I mean? Like something on top of whatever it is Southbird's up to lately. Suit part. Just know that any of the guest video editors have my, uh, appreciation over the years. I wish I had the motivation to still edit, but it, I just don't. I just don't. Nor time. The capital lies before us, my friend. What a somber place it seems. And one that holds the answers to many a mystery. I too have felt the pull of this place, though now I sit before it, I find myself hesitant to descend. Is it fear, I wonder, or something else that holds me back? Hmm, Have you brought me another nail to be honed? Leave it on the ground and return later, if you're still breathing. Uh, hmm? Oh, I thought you were someone else. After a nail smith, are you? Well, you found one. I'm not much for talk, but if it's a nail that needs repair, then you've come to the right buck. Your own nail is in quite a sorry state. It's obviously not one of mine. Still, anything can be refined with enough effort and skill, even that broken blade. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Yes. That's not even that bad of a deal. As you wish. I'll get to work then. Awesome. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, when do I get the master nail? There we go. The reforging is complete. I've honed your nail's edge. You'll find it much stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its strength against your foes. Sharpened nail. Traditional weapon of hollow nest restored to lethal form. Hmm, You're still here. Is there something else you want? If you bring me a piece of pale ore, I can forge it into your nail and make it stronger still. Would you have bought Eevee? Yes. Um, I'm a little sick of Pikachu. That's gonna get me some shit. That's gonna get me more shit than pre-ordering. She is. 
Again, we meet little ghosts. I'm normally quite perceptive. You, I underestimated, though. Though I've since guessed the truth. You've seen beyond this kingdom's bounds. Yours is resilience, born of two voids. It's no surprise, then, you've managed to reach the heart of this world. In doing so, you shall know the sacrifice that keeps it standing. If knowing that truth, you'd still attempt a role in Hollow Nest's perpetuation. Seek the grave in ash, and the mark it would grant to one like you. Hollow Knight. And the Black Vault far above, though its sacrifice, Hollow Nest, lasts eternal. Through. I can read. I've been doing real good reading with this game. It's a good thing I bide this game so I could read it good. It's Vine Grub. I mean, if people were wondering what the Vine Grub emote is, someone was like, it's on my channel. Do you want to just use it on your channel? I'm like, uh, yeah, okay. It's okay, Danny. Are you safe now? <laughs> Keep in mind, Danny, that I did drug for 35 years, and that's why I look like this. So if you want to look like Dracula, you should do the drug. Definitely. What happened to the capture card? I just had to reset my computer. What the hell is this? The white savior, the maiden, woke in darkness, confused. She reached out, sharp brambles jabbed at all sides, burning acid bubbled close below. What nightmare had led her here? What hope of survival remained? But doomed, she thought herself. And to despair, she fell until a light bloomed far in the distance, a bright glowing spot fast approaching. It swept majestic about the thorns, leapt about burning waters, and dove towards the maiden. Coming close, the form revealed at last a beautiful being, sharp horns gleaming white. Arms reached out for the damsel, gathering her up, grip firm. What? Jerry! I bought Kramer, Jerry! Damn it, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. My favorite type of streaming is audio complain streaming. But, you know, I actually really care. I really, really, really give a shit, and I want my audio to sound good. Because you're listening to me. I'm not. I'm not listening to myself. Oh! Spore Shroom. Vinny. What happened to Mario and Lugigi Star Saga? <laughs> I completed it. Who's Lugigi? Composed of living fungal matter, scatters spores when exposed to soul. When focusing soul, emits a spore cloud that slowly damages enemies. That sounds like fun. Lu Lugigi, how you doing? My name is Lugigi. No bench nearby, huh? Mantis Lords. Here we fucking go.
All right, that ate a little bit of ass. Okay, jump. Okay. Eat a dick, dick, dick. Yeah, I eat a dick, yeah. One down. Oh! Two at a time! Into the spikes, no less. <laughs> Holy fuck, this game is hard. Just appear out of nowhere. Why are you appearing out of nowhere like that? <laughs> ah, that fucking sucks! Aren't we made of meat, though? We are, yeah. We're just opinions in meat. And a miserable little pile of secrets. tried to heal because I thought they were going to do the thing and they didn't do the thing and... Got this. Fuck yeah. Rest in peace. I've earned the respect of the Mantis Lords. Which is worth nothing. Where's my item? Where's my hookshot? Where's my money? Where's my fucking money, Denny? This place gives me the creeps. Vicious little creatures burst out all, all over the place. And the passages are a dark, twisted maze. Unless you're well prepared, I'd urge you to leave. But if you're feeling strong enough, 
to descend. Would you like to buy my map? How did you map this area, you absolute mad lad? So, uh, maybe a centipede or two. Oh my god, I saw the worst cursed image I've ever seen, and it was a pizza with a bite taken out of it, and on the bottom of it was a half-eaten centipede. Like, the, the centipede was embedded in the dough. Oh! But you know, it's not that gross because in some parts of the world they just eat centipedes for fun and because it's good protein and shit. My potato hot potato chips. <laughs> oh man, look at him. Oh fuck! It's an urban legend. It's an urban legend. Oh! <laughs> I knew. I knew what was going to happen, but I did it anyway. God damn it. God damn it. I promise that there will never be another death again in this game. All right. So apparently my panel at Too Many Games is opposite a Charles Martinet signing and the Crush 40 concert feels bad. Feels real bad. And then my signing the next day is opposite the Charles Martinet panel. <laughs> Uh... Vinny, why don't you ever talk about Fred? That's a really weird, random comment. Uh, what do you want me to say about him? These- I like him. They meant Fred Fredberger? Oh, okay, I thought they meant Fred Rogers. I like Freddie Mercury. Can we just list all the Freds that we like? Desert, no. Desert said Fred Flintstone. I have an idea for a crossover between the Simpsons and the Flintstones, and it would be called... Simstones. That was a real shitty fall. This deep nest area is giving me all sorts of anxiety. Thinking about, like, the house centipede problem that I've had over the years that lately hasn't been so bad. <sighs> Thank God. Or whoever. What? Why would you do that? They're dead now. Oh, radiant being, we are blessed. Your rays touch us. Your warmth fills us. 
Holiness is born again, united in your blazing image. Oh. <laughs> Fuck is this daffy cunt? Light is life beaming, pure, brilliant. To stifle that light is to suppress nature. Nature suppose suppressed, distorts, plagues us. Embrace light. Achieve union. Oh ah. ah. Going to retrieve my Geo. Geo. Time to get the lantern. Geo, Kalala. I'm just gonna spend the rest of it. So there's actually uh, a little bit of Star Trek news. <laughs> Alex Kurtzman renewed the series for like five years and he's developing some shows and there's a chance that Patrick Stewart might be a part of one of these shows. Oh. I don't know, Patrick Stewart is looking very... I mean, he's got arthritis. He's looking pretty feeble these days. I hate to say it like that because it makes me really sad, but it's true. There's an authority to Picard. Ooh. It would be nice to, uh, if this, you know, it would be great if this happened like 10 years ago, but. And it would be great to see, like, Worf come back. I think Jordy, uh, LeVar Burton still looks really good. Brent Spiner is just, he's not Data anymore. He... <laughs> Dude's like almost 70. He could do a voice, maybe he could like do a CG data, but that would look really uncanny and weird and the budget would probably go sky high. It's a shame too because data is the one character that wouldn't age. But... I am Salubra and this is my cozy little charm store. Did the town folk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mm, yes. This is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of life. Mm. What were we talking about? Oh yes, charms. I can see you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own and you can take one home with you if you like. <laughs> There we go. Toll machine. So I remember not being able to see in here last time because lantern. It seems like I'm in a pretty non-linear point in the game. So I'm just going to continue along this path and go back to deep nest when I feel like vomiting.
sometimes I can do the thing. Vinny, you can hit the switch with your feast! Good advice, thanks. You were just trying to goad me into doing that voice, weren't you? Any wrong moves. Come the fuck on. I told you, I had to get Grub Friend. But you can say Beatlechus. Like Jacques the Skeleton would say. In the cartoon. You know, the infamous movie character, Jacques the Skeleton. The French Skeleton. From the Beetlejuice movie. Cursed are those who turn against the king. Quiet! <laughs> Excuse me, I was a cough. To protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Monomon, the teacher. In her archive, surrounded by fog and mists, Lorien the Watcher in his spire looking over the city, Hera the Beast in her den amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, Hallowness lasts eternal. Why is one of them an alien? Dreamer locations added to the map. Go no further, little shadow. What compels its climb out of the darkness? What compels its return to the sacred kingdom? call from beyond the seals by the vessel or by the captive light would the seals break they cannot be undone but the vessel weakens the plague springs anew they must be undone yet still our seals remain our duty holds it must be cast away our duty holds it shall be done ah. they can't hurt me right I'm dead they're dead who's dead Fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Pretty fucking cool, man. I don't know what the hell's happening, man. Oh, 
<laughs> what does Hannibal Fountain have come for such a magic? <laughs> to cast you away into the space between body and soul. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad forgotten dream? Yo, there's lightsabers in this game? The dream nail. Hold X to charge and slash with the nail. Cut through veil between dreams and waking. There's dreamers. They reached out with what little power they have and dragged you into that hidden place. But the talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit, the sacred blade is dialed over time. Perhaps together we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence, the precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. Collect it wherever you found it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. Go into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect 100 essence and return to me. I will teach you more. You're a moth. Excuse me, moth. Oh, okay, no, well now these things make sense. Yeah! Time to collect the red coins. Woo! Yahoo! Get me in there, I bet there's good stuff. What kind of fucking nightmare room is this? Oh. Well, you can do that. Bouncy, bouncy. Okay, that, that really was way easier than I was uh, expecting it to be. Yeah, you need more. More charm. Shh, don't tell anyone. It's kind of cool that... Even though I am not worthy of signing such things, it's kind of cool that people want me to sign cool shit like that. Have you simmed someone's tit? I was asked to one time, not at this convention, but I probably wouldn't. Maybe if it was the 70s? 
But no, n not a single Robertson will be signed because my trust levels are very, very low when it comes to shit like that. So no thanks. I got something better that I signed. It was some dude's sweaty face from years ago. Yeah. Well, I wanted to give it a- I wanted to give it a chance. I was like, maybe I could finally defeat this fucker with my advanced weaponry. Nope. There was a Fortnite update. I wanted to check it out, because there's new weapons and stuff. And I played two rounds, got my ass handed to me because I'm already bad at the game, then you play it with... Um... Then you play it with control sticks, and it's just impossible. So, now I remember what happened last time. A bit challenging. Oh, more needles. Challenge you again. Okay, was I just about to die? That needle looked like it was about to hit me. 
I can see now those who turn against the king are doomed as soon as they raise their weapon. Do not call me a traitor, simply call me a fool. I know you will not flee wherever you go. I will be watching. Okay, good night, bug, spirit, friend. So wait a minute. People are saying that I can't go back to Crystal Maze because I can't access some of it yet. Another wielder. Another wielding a weapon I'm supposed to be leaving many corpses in your wake. If you won't spare thought for the dead, at least consider all the extra work you force upon those in my profession. Straight up killed that spirit. Then again, what are the rules? Ghost rules are so ill defined. Oh, bury the knight with her broken nail, bury the priest, something about a crown, I can't remember the rest of it, huh? Maybe I'll just hum it. So close, keep singing crystals, keep singing so I can find you. Keep whispering crystals, I can almost hear what you're saying. Hello again, you're still running about? Why not just join me down here? There's plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put in a bit of work. Those crystals out there are worth a fair b b bit, but I've been feeling that there's something even more valuable hidden just a bit deeper. I can almost smell it. You're welcome to join me. There's enough for both of us. Or if you don't feel like digging, you can just sit and sing with me. Stuck in a spot for the rest of eternity with no interaction. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The, the ghost thing... As we know ghosts... ...in pop culture... ...just sounds awful. At what point do you think you'd get bored of looking at Robertsons when people aren't looking? Because I know that's what some of you are thinking. That's- that's- Oh man, yo, I'd be invisible. Yo, and I'd- I'd like- Yo. Like, people wouldn't know. Like, I'd be looking at everything. You can watch every movie for free in theaters. Okay, so then what happens when the world ends? Let's say the sun burns out, and you're just stuck on a rock. For the rest of eternity. Explore space. Okay, now, alright, this is what I'm saying about ill-defined ghost rules. As far as I'm aware, you're stuck in a house. Oh, uh, oh wow, look at that. <laughs> that made life a lot easier. So, you know, what the hell happens when you have someone, like an exorcist, get rid of the ghost? And they do all the rituals and everything, and then the ghost just gets murdered. Like, what happens? Do they cross over? Do they go to heaven? Do they go to hell? Man, we don't know anything about this shit. So what I'm trying to say is... Don't be so hard on me for killing Ghost Coon, because it's fine. Conscious wisdom. He was teaching you, this whole time, how to nut properly. You go to the pearly gates, and Nathaniel tells you, Yes, the last Jedi did, in fact, suck. Well, Nathaniel, did you know that there was a campaign to remake The Last Jedi? It was, like, crowdfunded? Yes, my son. But it never happened, that's correct. However, in an alternate dimension, it did happen. Was it any good? It was better. I 
think that's fucking hilarious that they're trying to get The Last Jedi remade. As if the actors are gonna agree to it. Like Mark Hamill's just waiting for the call. These people are spending an inordinate amount of their life force. Speaking of force, on the ground or clinging to all, concentrate the force. To concentrate the force. Release the button to blast forwards. Oh shit, it's Spine Shark. Yo, this is fucking dope. Uh, so now I want to find the, um, station. I, I forget what it's called. It makes me teleport. Big bug. Big bug with big leg. Silt Strider. Stag Station, thank you. Nintendo Direct starts. They announce... ...some more indie games. Mario Party's cancelled. Or you know what, no, Mario Party's not cancelled, but they... ...bring back the car mechanic. Okay. They show off... ...Captain Falcon Open World F-Zero RPG. The dialogue begins. Falcon. We need your help. No one else will save the city. Yes! Boston makes me feel good! Then, Sakurai appears on screen. Hello, it is I, Masahiro Sakurai. I'm here to tell you that we've heard you. We know what you want. Smash Brothers Ultimate is a game for you, the fans. And when we said we were going to include everybody, we meant it. We know you want Waluigi. Which is why... We've decided... To never include Waluigi in another Nintendo game ever again. Stop harassing me, you fuckers. It's just a fucking video game character who sucks. You're all delusional. It's just a purple Wario. And he's thin. And he- he just goes, WAH! What do you want from me? This guy sucks! He's got no story, he's got no character, he's got no personality, he fucking sucks, and everybody likes him ironically, and you fucking suck for harassing me on Twitter, and you should all be ashamed of yourselves for not having a life! This has been a message from Masahiro Sakurai. We hope you look forward to Smash Ultimate. But wait, we have one more announcement. We're delaying Smash Ultimate. An extra seven months because you people won't shut the fuck up about Waluigi. We hope you'll enjoy Waluigi's Assist Trophy, which we will be nerfing. Welcome to another edition of Ask Sakurai. Today's questions are about Smash Brothers Ultimate. Dear Mr. Sakurai, who is your favorite character in Smash Brothers? I'm partial to Pit because I helped revive the franchise and I like Pit's fast movement. Dear Mr. Sakurai, will you ever include more Fire Emblem characters? Perhaps, but we're gauging the response to the new characters. Dear Mr. Sakurai, do you plan on including Waluigi in a future version of Smash Ultimate? Lol. <laughs> We've decided <laughs> to include Pink Gold Peach as a playable character. Note, this is not an Echo Fighter. And, making their debut in Smash Brothers for the very first time, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. They fight together as a pair. Actually, that would be kind of okay.
Boo! Oh boy, oh Welcome, boy. small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time. Yes, yes. Now, now that you've gone and woken me up, it's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi. If you found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world, like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Speaking of... I signed onto Firefox the other day, and I have the opening welcome screen that has news on it, because why not? It doesn't do me any harm. But this was one of the, um... This was what this was one of the articles. What what are you trying to tell me, Firefox? News, everybody. Look, it's news. We've analyzed your search history and we've decided that we want you to avoid a life of regret. Click here to find out how. No, really. No, really. And then, like, you click on it, and it says, This news was personalized just for you. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have any regrets of your own, little one? Let me peer into you for a moment. Ah, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. Really? Oh, How long I must have slept. This land is so much darker now, so thick with the stains of regret. Even the air is murkier. If I sleep again, will the darkness creep in here and swallow me whole? Can someone, um, make a poll? Mods, any of the mods that are available at the moment? Can one of you guys make a poll for Vimo versus Wumi, please? Vimo is winning. Char, you don't want to know. Char says, What's... What the fuck is a Vimo? What's a Wumi for that matter? Also, what's Yeet? Now, okay. Yeet is, is slightly unrelated. Uh, I believe... The word Yeet might be banned from Splatoon. I can see how you'd be confused, but I promise you these are not related words. In fact, yeet has a lot to do with skeet. And that ain't what we... What we all about. <laughs> yeet that meat, then hit the street. Thank you, Captain Falcon. The denizens of Mute City will remember this forever. You truly are a hero. And a bit sick in the head, but that's fine. We- we need you. It's not really a bench, is it? Close enough. Ah, uh, well met. I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, nope, don't speak a word. I, Nail Master Mato, who was taught the art of the nail by the great Nail Sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Gasso! Huh. Hold why? Your form, exquisite. Now I know how my own master felt when he passed his teachings down to us. I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. Yes! When I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us suddenly flashed into existence. You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Mama. Finello. Mama.
I got impatient. That was the very definition of vine greed. Uh, Gorb, the great mind, the pain, ascend, ascend, I am, I am. Vinny, you seem extra deliriously fucked up tonight. It's probably the burger. Uh-oh, you know what that means. Oh, it's time for the voice. Here we go. I make the burglar, but then, then there's the five guys that open up and they make the better burglar. So I have to make six guys. Jid, could you split yourself into five other people so that we can have six guys? Yes. Did if you split yourself into six people, what would it sound like? Allow me to tell you, Father. I have split. I have split into five other people, Father. Now we can be six guys and make the best Borg lore. Spare no expense, dream. What is Desert saying? It's free real estate. Oh, man. Hey, Drake, do you believe in fate or do you believe in free will? I don't know, Father. I make the burgers. You ask me to make the burgers and therefore I make the burgers. In that case, it must be destiny. Very good. That's my son. Very pleased to hear that drink. Yours will be a life of servitude. You will never leave the Borglar restaurant. <laughs> For I am your god. You will not be fed. I will take you out of school so that I have a free employee for the rest of eternity. Yes, father. Tell your sister Matilda to get in the kitchen and make some Borglars with you, Jeep. We need more employees. Yes, father. Me and... Me and Linda are having another child, so we have more Borglar employees. How do you feel about this? Okay, you know... I genuinely don't... <laughs> I genuinely don't remember character's name. It's not Matilda. What is it? Madeline. Louise, thank you. Corpse of a large bug. Oh yeah, and there's Tina. Don't forget about Tina. What's 
this. Please, gosh, if your Linda voice is as fucked up as Marge's voice, I will fucking lose it. Hey, Bobby! Bob, let me fuck your wife! Don't touch it! Bob, Bob, please. Please, I need this, Bob. Eh, alright. Whatever you want, Teddy. <laughs> Please. I think there should be a Bob's Burgers slash Simpsons crossover. But my versions of the characters. Where I voice all of them. Oh fuck. Do not fear the unknown, son. For it may grant you safe passage into the nether realms. Yes, father. <laughs> get, get your sister Mildred. We need to make a hot dog. See, you thought I was going to say burger. I said hot dog. That is free choice. That proves that we are not Bound to our code. Make the door glars. This is really, really, really rotten. Oh, shit. Good, we're good. Still 400 and something Geo. I don't want to lose that. Balder shell. Protects its bearer with a hard shell while focusing soul. Shell is not indestructible and will shatter if it absorbs too much damage. That seems great. Well, I was thinking more specifically referring to pants. As opposed to, you know, panting. I deserve that. Do you believe in karma? Jean? Jean, do you believe it? Do you believe in karma? So, what are your qualifications? I, I have a really daisily voice. Okay, and you want me to represent you 
and get you acting roles based on the fact that your voice is very nasally. See, si. I mean, yes. Okay, so, like, can you do any other voices? Okay, no, I, I've got, like, another character. Okay, like, this guy's, like, a secret agent. Alright, he sounds like this. Hi, I'm a secret agent. My name is Archer. I'm here to make the Borglar. I mean... Okay, wait a minute. That's just your voice. No. But, but... Okay, what what other characters you got? You said you got more voices. Okay, I have Burger Chef Man. And he, he make the Borgar, and he get very, like, stuffy in the nose. Okay... You got anything else? I've got an insurance salesman. No, you know what? I think, um, well, I'll represent you. What's, what's your name? H. John. Excuse me, H. John? Yes. Your name just isn't John or something, or... Nope, H. John. Okay, what's your last name? Benjamin. So, wait a minute, is your name Benjamin or, or John? My name is H. Excuse me, excuse me, sir? How am I supposed to represent you? What is your name, H? You ever done any improv, H? Nope. Not a day in my life. What the fuck is this? Huh? Can't buy the other key yet. People are posting clowns. You fuckers. You just had to spoil it. What was that? Oh, look there. Something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Oh, it fills me with dread. I think it's best to try to ignore it. Why must these grotesque strangers intrude on our peaceful little home? Sometimes it feels like the whole world is conspiring to make me uncomfortable. Nasu? Ah, did you call us? You called us and we came, we came. Do don't look scared. Why did you call us? Doesn't matter, don't tell me. We came and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it, I want it. I've already crossed. You carry a lot of smells on you, but you don't have one of your own. Funny little thing. I've already crossed. Shadow and fire will dance together so prettily, I think. Weird and creepy. Babala, Geno. Oh, mm, you called us? Speak to Master. Sego, Nala. When flame burns bright inside one's mind, can heed the call cross lands and time. Oh my god. So, it is you who called us. Well met, my friend. Well met. I am Sis Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit and your summons heeded. A fine stage you choose, this kingdom fa followed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your role was cast, our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first some illumination is required. Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed. The flame and dream 
Seek my kin, claim their flame, return it to me. Together marvel shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this task. You won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. What? The bearer must seek the Grimkin and collect their flames. Uncollected flames will appear on the bearer's map. I'm, I'm not putting that charm on. I like my current charms. To be honest, you were in the most boring parts of the game today. It's only going to go up from here. Yeah, I, I mean, I saw that. I felt it, but didn't kill it for me. Dream.